Hey everyone, it's Jeff from PhotoWalk Pro, and in this video, I just want to quickly touch on one of my favorite new features in Lightroom 5, and that is the Smart Preview. Now, if you're like me, you don't necessarily store your images on the computer that you use to work on them. I work on a MacBook Pro, and so my storage is kind of limited, and therefore, I'm always moving images off of my computer and onto another storage device. You know, I do this for safekeeping, but also just because I need to keep the space free on my hard drive that I'm working on because it is limited. That's not a bad workflow, but the problem is sometimes I want to work on my images, and when I do, I get this little thing right here. It's that little exclamation point, and what it's going to tell me is, guess what? Your photo is missing. The photo is not really missing. It's just it's not in a place where... Lightroom can get to it right now. It's in a storage device. It's on a CD. It's somewhere else besides the hard drive that Lightroom has access to. Now, if I plug my hard drive in, it'll that exclamation will go away and I'll have access to it. But what that means for me right now is that if I try to, I don't know, work on an image that has an exclamation point on it, uh, all I can do is look at it. I can see it looks pretty nice. You know, I've got a large preview area, but I can't do anything more to the image. I can't crop. I can't, you know, make changes to the exposure. I can't do anything. Because if you look over here to the side, all of my sliders are grayed out. I have access to nothing. I can't do anything, you know? So the smart people at Adobe, though, have come up with a solution in Lightroom 5 that is just kick butt. And this is what I really love. And it's called Smart Previews. Now, let me go back to my library and I'm going to show you because I've already done some conversion to Smart Previews. And what a Smart Preview is, is, you know, I, you just saw a preview for one of my my images, but when you create a smart preview, what it does is it creates this, it's almost like a JPEG type image that Lightroom can then use to do different things. You can export that. You can use it on a, on a web page, as long as it's not too big. I mean, I wouldn't make a, a 30 by 40 print, but you can, you can use it to export, to put on a blog. You can go over to your develop module. Let me pick an image here. I'm going to develop module now. Look. All of my sliders are active. They're alive. I can actually make changes to this image. I can go in and change all these subtle little things. I can do all of this to a preview. These aren't connected. There is no connection here. If you look up here under the histogram, it tells you that I am now working on the smart preview. The original image is not available, but because it's a smart preview, that means I can do all of this good stuff to it. So I can go in and change all of these things. And here's a great part. I can export with all these changes, or when I plug my hard drive back in, guess what? It's going to update all of these changes back to the original file and save it there so that these changes are mirrored in the little file that lives with the originals. Now, there's a couple of ways you can do smart previews. If you've got a lot of images and you and you imported them in your catalog into Lightroom 5, you know, you're not out of luck. You can you can still make them, but let me show you how to create while I'm reconnecting. Let me reconnect my drive first. Um, it takes a couple of minutes to get it all awake for these other images. So let me show you how to actually turn on the Smart Preview when you're importing. So go over here to the Library module and you click on Import. And if you come over here to the File Handling section, you're going to see there's a little box right here, this little Smart Preview. Okay, I think it's off by default, but if you want Smart Previews, you need to make sure that that checkbox is turned on. And what that does is it actually, as it's importing all of the images and putting them wherever you want. You can import to an external drive if you want, but it'll still create that smart preview that it will keep with the catalog for you to use. Now, here's one thing to remember, and it's kind of a warning, and that is that smart previews, because they're giving you a larger view of your of your image, it has to create a little bit of a larger file. So it's going to be kind of like a JPEG. It's going to be a little bit bigger. It is going to take up space. And, you know, after you're done working with your images, you may want to get rid of those smart previews. But until then, you know, it's a great way to keep those smart previews. All right, so that's how you create them on import. All you do is you make sure that's turned on right there, the little build smart previews checkbox. And then when you import, it'll automatically create those smart previews. Now, if you've already got images on your computer, you've, you've switched over to Lightroom 5, you imported your previous catalogs, you're going to be, now look, all those exclamation points are gone, but you're going to be out of luck on the smart previews until you create them. So what you're going to do, if you look over here to where the histogram is, you can see this is just the original photo. There is no smart preview. But if you highlight your images, and I'm going to just, let me just click on a few, because you can do as many as you want to. 
Okay, so you could go through and flag all your images and then just do the flagged images if you want to do it that way. So let me go, actually, you know what? Let's do that. Let's go over here and turn the attributes on. I'm going to turn the flagged images on here. And um, I'm not going to do all of these. Let's just go down to this little bit right here. Okay, here we go. Here's these flagged images. I want smart previews for these. So you know what? I'm going to hit the shift button and just highlight the, these 10 images. And I'm going to come over here to the histogram right up here in the right hand corner and I'm just going to click on that because you can see these are grayed out. I have no smart previews or anything else but I do have 10 standard previews. If I click on that it brings up a dialog and says hey do you want to build smart previews? Absolutely. Now if you look here it's also telling you it's going to take up 19 megabytes of space for the smart previews so they're not small. They're about 2 megabytes a piece. I mean you have to keep that in mind that if you do your entire catalog it's going to kind of defeat the whole purpose of saving your images offline. But to actually have access to the things that you're currently working on to create these previews, and this is a great way of doing it, is actually, you know, flag your photos and then create the smart previews for the ones you want to work on. When you're done, there it is. Smart previews were built or they already existed. Well, I know they didn't exist, but they do now. And if you look right over here in the histogram up here in the top right, you'll see now that I actually have 10 smart previews. That's what this, this second checkbox is, is that the original is there and the smart preview. So I can obviously go in and, and work on these now because my hard drive is attached. So if I hit the develop button right up here at top and go into develop module, I have all of my sliders and I can do all the things I need to do to this image. But here's the, here's the great thing. If for some reason I go on a trip and I'm sitting in my hotel room and I say, you know, I wish I could work on those images, but wait, I'm not connected, but that's okay. I know my Mac hates it when I do that. But that's okay because you know what? I'm still connected to my Smart Preview. And if you look up here, it says Smart Preview, and I still have access to every single slider there. So that's my number one feature in Lightroom 5, Smart Previews. If you're not using them, you're going to want to look into it because I'm telling you what, it's going to save you time. It's going to save you frustration, and it may just turn out to be your favorite feature too. All right, this is Jeff from PhotoWalk Pro, and you have a great day.